Hi there, and thank you for joining us on this April edition of the Animal Services Podcast. Coming up in this episode, we'll give you a look at how everyday residents are helping us reach our no-kill goal and how you can be part of this historic initiative. But before we get to all that, let's take a look at how we fared in March. Last month, Animal Services had a live release rate of 91.1%. Now, this is the second month in a row that the department has had a live release rate in the 90s, and we are thankful for the entire community and their support. Just a reminder, our goal here at Animal Services is to have an average annual live release rate of 90% or higher by 2020. We can only reach this goal with the community's help and support. And as we've seen these past two months, when we get the community's help, we can do great things. For example, this past month, our volunteer Gabby and her husband created new cat curtains for our cat adoption room. These curtains not only add a splash of color, but they provide our kittens some privacy when they need to rest. With the cats being rested, this increases their chance at adoption. We can't thank volunteers like Gabby enough. And just an FYI, in addition to being a volunteer, Gabby is also one of our most active foster parents. As you just saw, volunteers here at Animal Services help in all kinds of ways. For example, our volunteer Kendra helps through her love of photography. Kendra is able to capture an animal's personality through fun and playful photos. These photos are then placed on our social media pages and website to help promote these animals who might need some extra exposure. Kendra's work is another perfect example of how volunteers can use their talents to help find homes for our hundreds of shelter pets. One of the most common but important ways volunteers help is through customer matchmaking. Whether it's at the Animal Services Center or an off-site event, volunteers play a major role in helping pair families with great shelter pets. In March, more than 690 animals were adopted, and a big part of this success is due to our service that volunteers provide. I love doing adoptions. I like being able to give a smile to a family's face and be able to have a dog go to a happy home. And if you want to help animal services but can't volunteer, you can also foster. This program is a key lifeline for many of our animals that enter our facility, who are often too young to adopt. The program is free and we provide all the supplies needed to care for the animals. Many of our foster parents say the program allows them to directly have an impact in the lives of some of the most at-risk animals in our care. Donating is another way to help, and recently a young student showed us that you can have a big impact in the lives of animals, no matter what age you may be. Meet Arista. Instead of asking for presents or the latest gadget, she asked for donations to benefit our shelter pets for her ninth birthday. Her family and friends responded and donated all kinds of goodies. The news of her generosity made it back to her school, and then the school decided to hold a school-wide donation drive. We want to say thank you to Arista and all her classmates from Bill Childress Elementary for their kindness and for showing us how one kind gesture can have a big impact in the lives of shelter pets. Well, that does it for us on this edition of the Animal Services Podcast. We want to thank all our fosters, volunteers, adopters, donators, everyone who has helped us. And we also encourage everyone in the community to be involved with us because together we can save more lives.